Welcome to day two of 18 and 2018. Today we're going to clean up our layouts and color code our fixtures to help us move more quickly while programming. If you're playing along and don't have the show file, download it on consoletrainer.com or in the YouTube description. I've included our edits from day one in the download in case you missed yesterday. Let's all take a moment here and back up our show, updating the name to reflect that this is day two. Great. Now, we're primarily going to work in screen 2 today, the screen above your encoder wheels. Here we have views already for stage, groups, and layout. We currently have no layout, so we're going to make one. I recommend building your stage before making the layouts because the layouts will allow us to pull location information right from our stage. I'm going to add a small groups window at the bottom of the stage view and also the layout view just to make things easier. In our groups pool, we have our Sharpies, Auras, Vipers, and Quantums. I want to select all my fixtures to put into our layout, so I'll click the All Groups for each fixture type. Now hit Store and click the first empty layout block. You can immediately go ahead and rename it. We don't see anything yet because this view will update to the selected layout, and right now, nothing's selected, so click on your new layout. Right now, all of our fixtures are sitting there in a line. I want to make this layout look more like a light plot, so I'm going to use the information from the top view of my stage. First, make sure all of your fixtures are selected in yellow. If they're not, just click and drag over all of them to select them all. At the top of the layout view, hit Setup. At the bottom of the screen, click Arrange. In the new menu, we want to click Camera. The lights have already moved, but this isn't quite the view that I want, so on the encoder wheel, you can tap or turn it, Locate Top, and then click Apply. Cool, now our units are arranged as if we were looking down on the stage. And now if you click Zoom to Fit, it will center them up. Because we use the stage camera, some of our fixtures are different sizes. If you want them to all be uniform, select them all, click Element Properties to get us back to the encoder options, click Position, and change the Size All encoder to something like 0.5. Doing this isn't necessary, but I certainly prefer it. Something I don't particularly love to see is the grid in the background. It's helpful when setting up, sure, but I just don't love it. If you're like me and you want to get rid of it, click the yellow ball at the top of the layout window. In the new menu, under Layout Data, click on either the grid X or grid Y, doesn't matter which, and change the number to zero. Boom, no more grid. Last thing that I want to do is color code by fixture type. I'm really not big on seeing rainbow colors all over the console, but this is one thing I will assign colors to, just to make locating fixtures easier and faster. This show file has a small rig, but when you're working with large-scale arena rigs, I find color coding to be very useful. Let's start with our groups. In this example, I want the Sharpies in the pool to be coded as pink. To do this, hit the Assign key three times until you see the word Appearance on your command line. Then click the group key, followed by the numbers 1 through 3, please. In the pop-up window, I'll pick a magenta color, make sure the brightness is high, and click please. Now my Sharpies have a magenta outline. Let's do the same process for the other types. Hit assign three times, press group 4 through 5, please, for the auras, and let's make them red. Same process for the vipers and quantums. Now, you don't have to use the colors I'm using, but I do recommend not choosing yellow, because when we color code our layouts, yellow represents a selection, so it can be confusing. So now we've colored our group's pool, but nothing's changed in the layout, so we have one more step. Let's make sure our programmer is clear, and then select the Sharpies. Make sure you're in Setup in the layout view, and then we want to click this button to change our encoders until you see the color options. Click on Border Color, Let's make that the same magenta, and we're there. Same thing for the rest of the units. Make sure to clear out in between and just follow the color coding you already established in the groups pool.
Once you establish a color coding system that you like, you can also choose to apply it to some of your presets. I think the one that makes the most sense to me is your gobo pool, since the gobo wheels are unique to fixture type. I've already set the Sharpie and Viper gobo presets to the colors we just applied to their groups. The idea here is just simple visual organization. The more organized we get, the faster we become.